All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add some more pages to your MyPISD uh, page. So, what you have to do is log into MyPISD.net and get onto your classes. So, click My Classes, and I'm going to choose my Power Math class. All right, so once that comes up, then you have all your different tabs are going to be up here. Mine are blank right now. Um, just so I can show you how to add an external content to make your site really pop and really look good. So we're on the welcome page, so I don't have to um, press anything there. Then I go up to the plus sign, and I'm going to click on more. Once I do that, I click on content, content management, and then go down to where it says external content, and I click add and then I close this box. Alright, so it says please configure the portlet to make it visible to all users. So I'm going to click on this link and let me try that again. Sometimes you have to do it a couple of times. I'm glad that happened. If it doesn't work the first time in my PISD, try, try again. Alright, so it's asking you to get a source URL. So I'm going to go to my S'more account, S-M-O-R-E dot com, and this is my account. And I made a cute little flyer thing to put onto my website. And I've got all really neat things on there and the, ru the ruler in the background to make it look awesome. Well, on the side, after you make a S'more, they give you something called a link. So you click on Copy Link, and then go back to my PISD. This is what you paste into the source URL. All right, so then after you do that, scroll down, and you're going to hit save. All right, so at the top it'll say you have successfully updated the setup, and then you close this box. Now, it might take a little while for my PISD to recognize your page, and you might need to refresh it a few times. Um, you can refresh it by hitting the F5 key, and that should work after a while. So let's see if it worked for me. Let me go back to my classes. Eighth grade. There, good. So, since this is so itty bitty, I want to make this a little bit bigger. And the way that you do that is you go to the, um, I guess it's like a cog that's up here, and you do page layout. Okay, try it again because that's just the way it is the cog, page layout. So I'm waiting for it to load. There we go. Um, that's not the right one that opened up. Let me try this one more time. The cog page layout. There we go. And you're going to make it just one column. And you only click save. And so it's going to think about it for a second. Okay. Um, maybe it works. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and X out this box and refresh it and let me see if it worked. All right, let me try one more time. Page layout. And I'll make it one column. Save. Let me go to my classes. Well, anyway, the ending result is after you make it just one column, what's going to happen is that this is going to be stretched all the way across. 
My PISD is having a little bit of issues, um, but that's okay, but that's all you have to do. Go to the cog, go to page layout, click one column, save, and it should change it. And that's how you add external content to your web page. Thank you so much.